Welcome back. We got a pretty interesting question to consider. There's a lot of talk about it in the text, but I'll just recap it in the statement. Um, so the statement reads, what is the relation between the atomic polarizability alpha and the susceptibility chi e? Imagine that the space allotted to each atom in a sphere uh, is a sphere of radius big R and show that the electric field is equal to 1 minus N alpha over 3 epsilon naught times uh, E else. So basically the field that's produced by everything else but the atom. Um, use this to conclude that chi E is equal to N alpha over epsilon naught divided by 1 minus N alpha uh, over 3 epsilon naught. Or conversely that alpha is equal to... 3 epsilon naught divided by n times uh, the dielectric constant minus 1 over the dielectric constant plus 2. Uh, pretty lengthy discussion like I mentioned, but to start, let's uh, first consider the density of atoms in the dielectric material. Uh, this would be written as n, which again, density divided by the volume. So uh, there's only one atom here. So 1 over the volume of a sphere is 4 thirds pi r cubed, nothing new. Uh, the macroscopic field is E though, but this E is composed of uh, the atom itself and everything else. Uh, so E self is the average field over the sphere due to the atom itself. Uh, recall that the dipole was equal to uh, alpha E else uh, when we sum that over all the atoms that's uh the polarization so that's why we have to multiply by the density of atoms uh n and then alpha else alpha times e else uh but let's note that actually it is the field at the center not the average over the sphere that belongs here but if you recall when we were working with laplace's equations and all the math theory that uh they they are in fact equal so now we can move forward uh, so early in the chapter, we talked about what the fields or yeah, this chapter and in chapter three, what the fields of the dipole were. Uh, so of a single atom, E self is equal to negative one over four pi epsilon naught, the dipole that it creates over R cubed. Um, and then like we just defined on the previous slide that, uh, P is equal to alpha times E else solve this for the equation of the total field e which is e self plus e else and you notice that we can factor out an e else uh, a little bit of simplification there uh we want to uh put the one over four pi in terms of the volume of a sphere so we multiply the denominator by a factor of one represented by three over three uh, so that 3 in the numerator of that fraction gets carried over, which is why we have n over 3. Um, and then we just simplify it down pretty quick and easy there. Uh, now we know that the polarization is P equal N alpha E else. Now that we know what E is in terms of uh, some factor times E else is, we can algebraically solve for E else which is just E over one minus N alpha over three epsilon naught. Um, and then uh, we just simplify this down, but we also know that the polarization is equal to epsilon naught chi E. Uh, so when we're comparing the coefficients of the electric fields, we see that we have N alpha over one minus N alpha divided by three epsilon naught is equal to epsilon naught chi E. So a simple, uh, just divide the epsilon naught on the right-hand side over, and we can solve for chi e as such, which is indeed what we were given. Uh, now we can take this and solve for alpha. Uh, multiply the denominator over to the chi e and distribute it, leaving us with chi e minus n alpha divided by 3 epsilon naught. Chi e is equal to n alpha epsilon naught. Now we've got to group together the alphas, so we take the negative and add it over to the right-hand side, isolating the alphas on the right-hand side, where we can factor out n alpha epsilon naught. 
Uh, then we divide everything away that is not alpha. And we're left with epsilon naught over n times chi e over 1 plus chi e over 3. So to get rid of that chi e over 3 in the denominator, we multiply uh, by 3 over 3. And thus we can simplify through after distributing. Now let's recall that uh, the dielectric constant epsilon r is equal to chi e plus 1. So algebraically solving that, we have chi e equals epsilon r minus 1. And all we're going to do is substitute that in. And again, we get exactly what we started with.